Welcome to this video that will provide all information about my hardware journey and how I grow my smart home ecosystem. I will cover step by step how I modernize and expand my smart home. My first step was to install Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi to automate some smart devices. As I became more familiar with smart devices, new integration processes were introduced, necessitating additional hardware to fulfill these requirements. I transitioned from using one Raspberry Pi to for mini PCs, each dedicated to specific functions. Step 3 became critical for virtualizing and optimizing hardware utilization. Virtualization emerged as the next essential step in my home automation journey, enabling me to add new integrations and explore additional features without the need to purchase new hardware. My current step was the next progression to optimize energy consumption, reduce noise, and address certain hardware limitations to install a GPU for gaming virtual machine. The first step was to gradually familiarize myself with and install new smart devices in my house, with the goal of creating automation and enabling my wife and kids to use these features. However, I quickly encountered limitations and issues while using a Raspberry Pi. Firstly, the new SD card failed and became corrupted after a few months. Additionally, the scalability limitations posed by adding more smart devices especially cameras, revealed that the Raspberry Pi was a bottleneck for progression. Now that everyone in the house was adequately using all these new features, more and more smart devices were introduced, and my wife also requested additional automation. Adding new services on different mini PCs was becoming a maintenance nightmare due to the need to update and maintain different operating systems on each of them. Once again, we faced limitations when adding multiple new cameras. Initially, with just two or three cameras, everything worked fine. However, as we gradually increased the number of cameras for surveillance, the utilization of the mini PC's graphics card became strained, especially when using automation for movement detection or face recognition. In addition, streaming Plex video in 4K also became a challenge due to the limited capacity of the mini PC. To address the challenge of maintaining multiple mini computers, I came across a retired server from a company. These servers are now available at low cost considering the hardware they offer. I was able to maximize all the features, including video streaming in 4K and using all the cameras for surveillance with automation using facial recognition and movement detection. However, this came at a cost I didn't anticipate initially. Servers are built for data centers, so noise from cooling fans and power consumption were not concerns during their original use. While they are versatile, they generate a significant amount of heat, which warmed my garage throughout the winter but posed overheating issues in the summer. Additionally, I faced limitations with the GPU I could install in the server it needed to be single slot and meet specific power consumption requirements, posing a challenge for building a gaming VM. Now that I have experience with virtualization and have encountered many issues with the server, I switched to a workstation that offers powerful performance with dual CPUs and 128 gigabytes of memory. It's also possible to install a standard GPU with dual slots and no limitations on power consumption. I was able to install two GPUs for gaming VMs or a macOS VM. The noise level is very low and the heat generated is not comparable to a server, However, a workstation brings other hardware challenges. While the server offered a RAID controller, this workstation's capabilities are slightly more limited, although it still allows for the installation of a RAID controller. The best option I found was to use a separate NAS instead of having everything on one single computer. I'm very pleased with this hardware configuration for all my VMs, including gaming VMs, which require more performance than a simple office workstation. This concludes my experience and smart home journey. I hope that it can help you make the right decisions.